guys, welcome to Urban Treats where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today we are making senorita bread, also known as Filipino Spanish bread rolls. The fun fact about these is they have nothing to do with Spain. It's a Filipino recipe and it's absolutely delicious. As always, the ingredients are in the description. Let's get started. Let's start by making the dough for our Spanish bread. And for that, we're going to use 80 grams of melted butter. Just add that in here. Along with 200 ml of milk. And I'm gonna add in one sachet of instant yeast. And this one is instant yeast, not active yeast. If you have active yeast, then you have to let it bloom for 10 minutes just with the milk. But because this is instant uh, yeast, we can just mix it in. We'll add four tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. And the last liquid ingredient is one egg. Just break that in here. Now we can stir this up a little bit. There we go, that's enough. Set this aside. And now we can add in our flour. This is 400 grams of all-purpose flour. And just add that in there. And I'm going to knead the dough using my stand mixer. And for that, I have a hook attachment, which we just plug in here. You can, of course, also knead this by hand. You don't have to use a stand mixer. It's just easier that way. Okay, let's put this in here. This is ready. And we're going to let this net at a medium speed for five to seven minutes. In the beginning, the dough is going to be sticky, but as it nets and the gluten will build in the dough, it's going to release from the sides and it'll be nice and soft and you'll see when it's ready. And the dough is ready. And the next step, we're gonna let this one proof for about an hour. But first, we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil into a bowl here. And that's approximately two tablespoons. We'll make our fingers a little oily so it's easier to handle the dough. There you go. And we'll just get this out of here. And the dough is ready. You can see it's nice and smooth. It's a bit runny, but that's how it's supposed to be. Now, by itself now, this dough is perfect if you want to make sweet buns. So you can just shape these into individual rolls. You can make about 16 rolls out of this um, and make nice sweet buns if that's what you want to do. But we're obviously making Spanish bread or Filipino Spanish bread. And for that, we have a couple of more steps. First of all, let's oil this up a little bit. Here we go. And now we place it in the bowl. We're gonna cover this with a bit of cling film and we'll let it rest for an hour. While the dough is proofing, we are going to prepare the filling. And the filling is super easy. All you will need is 100 grams of flour. You will need 150 grams of brown sugar. And I use light brown sugar. And you need about 80 grams of butter, and this is soft butter. So I left it out of the fridge for 20 minutes, and now it's nice and soft, and it will mix and cream easy. Throw it all in there, and then just blend it with a hand mixer, or even if you just use a fork or a spatula, it will work just fine. The filling is ready and as soon as the dough has proofed, we are going to prepare our Spanish bread. I'll see you in a minute. All right, the dough is ready, the filling is ready and we are ready for the final stage. And for the final stage, we're gonna prepare our Spanish bread rolls and then of course bake them. So let's start with the dough. 
So you can see this has doubled in size and this is exactly how we want it. Now, before we portion it, let's punch out the air a little bit. And then get it onto your working surface. Now you can see this is soft and really malleable and stretchy. You won't need to flour your working surface. It's still pretty oily from the oil we added. We make this into a rectangle that's approximately 14 inches wide and approximately eight or nine inches tall. And then I'm gonna use my bench scraper to square it into 16 equal pieces. Now, if you're picky, you can of course use a scale to make 16 equal pieces, but I'm just gonna go by eye measurement. So that's now two. Half it one more time. Now we have four. Eight pieces. And if we half them one more time, then we have 16. 16 pieces, they're not 100% equal. If you see that some are a little smaller than others, just pinch a little piece off and add them from another one. Now, we're gonna use my bread rolling technique again. I have these in my Semmel recipe and I'm using them in other recipes as well. If you wanna check out that recipe, which has a longer tutorial, it's gonna be here on the top of the screen. Now, we take the small piece of dough and then we fold it over our ring finger and push it down with our thumb and index finger to form a ball. And then once we have formed this ball, you can just keep going until it's a perfect nice little round ball. And then we'll pinch off the bottom like so and give it a roll like this. And now we have a nice round dough ball. We'll portion all of these make our dough balls and then I'll show you how to fill them. The dough balls are ready and we can now fill them. And that's really, really easy. All you need to do is put them down on the surface, press them down a little bit and stretch them out lengthwise. We want them to be long, approximately six inches in length, and maybe a couple of inches wide. So let me just measure this here. We'll go with seven inches actually. Seven inches is good. Press them out nicely. And now we add a spoon of the filling, one teaspoon of the filling. Add it here. You can then press it out. Like so. And now we roll them up. And for that, just go a little from the edge inwards. And then as you go, pinch them a little on the side so that the filling doesn't come out during the baking only in the first steps. Roll, 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 roll. And now you have this nice shape roll here. And we'll take the side and we'll just pinch it together. But pinch it well, go through it a few times because that might open up as they raise. Give it a few pinches, push it back, pinch, push back until this is well connected. Roll it out a little bit and the roll is ready. So the total length of the roll is about four and a half to five inches. And let's go and do the rest. Here we go, 16 beautiful Spanish rolls ready. And before we bake them, we're gonna cover them in breadcrumbs. I have a cup of breadcrumbs here and I'm just gonna spread them a little bit here in a plate. That's it. And if your uh, Spanish bread rolls are oily, then the breadcrumbs might stick by themselves. But if they're not, you can just brush them with a little bit of milk 
dunk this in here, give them a little brush, not too much, and then just roll them in your breadcrumbs. Brush the other side, here we go. Give them a bit of a roll. Oh, look how beautiful these are. And just put them here into your baking tray. Don't forget, leave a little bit of distance between them because they will blow up a little more. Let's brush all these here and then we're gonna bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, the baking time might change according to your oven. I'm baking with air, so convection, and I'm baking at 175 degrees, and usually these take me about 15 minutes. But keep an eye on them, see how they blow up, um, and of course check the color as well. So let's just finish these, and then we'll pop them in the oven. That's how easy it is to make Singerita bread or Filipino Spanish bread rolls. Now, before we go with the taste test, if you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell button. But now we go for the taste test. Let's split it in the middle because I want maximum filling in that bite. Mm, that looks great. Mm. That's really good. Really soft on the outside, the breadcrumbs are nice and crispy on the outside. And then this rich filling in the center. Mm, really, really good. You gotta try them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.